started the motor and we're heading out of Huatulco to cross the Tehuantepec, Golf of Tehuantepec. Tehuantepec is the, the Cape Mendocino, uh, Point Conception, Cabo Corrientes, all wrapped into one here. So, uh, 250 miles, I'm going to try to kind of hug the coast, but uh, I'm solo, so I can't hug it too close because uh, I'll need to sleep, so I'm thinking 10 miles off. 10 miles is a lot of fetch if that uh, if the Tehuantepec comes up, so... <clears throat> but anyway, uh, here we go. Man, those sails are starting to bang now. This is the end of day one, my Tawanapik crossing. Uh, as you could see, the moon was setting behind me, or the sun was setting in the west, as it often does. Uh, there's a moon tonight, it's waxing something, more a little bit more than half, so at least I'll have a little bit of uh, light in that last, last crossing to uh, Atulco. There was no moon, so the nights were really dark. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that sail. But as you can see, uh, the, I'm off the beach about five miles. You can probably see it behind me. Um, I'm gonna maintain this distance, I think. Try to through the night and just catch some catnaps, I guess, because I just won't be able to sleep with the with the beach so close. But. like 8 30 in the morning uh, after my first night across the Gulf of Tawanapec. Uh, the wind died about one in the morning um, and now there's current against us <clears throat> like we suspected or like I suspected there was going to be. Well, hell, it is dead calm. Thank God for the motor because we're at about more than a half a knot against this current. And, uh, without that, we'd be going backwards. So, I uh, started fishing. Maybe we'll catch a fish or something. I cleaned myself up and shaved. That's something. Clean the little of the boat up. That's something. Couple quick things. One, we're halfway across. We just passed the halfway mark, 100 and, well, 116 miles each way. Um, I caught two little fish, two little skipjacks. They were only like this long. They were like eight inches long, and they, I threw them back. Um, and I lost my best hat, my library hat. I'm reaching over to pull up the fishing line, and it got knocked off my head and I watched it float away. I tried to catch it with the fishing line. There's no way I'm going to turn around. I, I wouldn't be able to find it anyway. But that makes me really sad. But we're sailing. Three and a half knots or something in the right direction. I 
I think I got a fish. Something on there. Something small. Here's what I'm talking about. That fish, it, the lure is bigger than that fish. It's a skipjack. It is 9 a.m. on our third day. Uh, we're sailing now, close hauled on a port tack. There's some wind off the land to the southeast, but we just started doing that. We motored all night. Um, I kept the RPMs down. The current isn't as strong anymore, so you keep go down. You know, motored about 2,000 RPMs, and we we're still doing four and a half, five knots. And, Landed on the bowsprit. Well, we're eight, 17 miles now from Chiapas. Um, a little hazy out. The wind has filled in though nicely from the west, so it's like an onshore flow here. But uh, so to recap the trip, what I did was I stayed about 10 miles off. They always say stay one foot on, keep one foot on the beach. But I was solo, so I couldn't really do that because I otherwise I you know I wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd be worried that we're going to go up on the beach. So. I kind of stayed about 10 miles off around the whole the whole loop and uh, seemed to be fine. I think with the weather forecast anyway, I could have gotten a straight shot straight across. Of course, that would only save me about 15 or 20 miles or something. And uh, so I, I don't know if my plan, my strategy was a good one or not, but it seemed to work. And um, uh, so the first day we sailed a lot, uh, sailed some of the night that night, and then the wind quit. Um, then yesterday, the afternoon, the wind picked up, and we sailed some of that, and then today again the same thing. So it's kind of, I think, what you expect, uh, afternoon winds and uh, nighttime, uh, no wind. And then there was a contrary current up in the, when you get up into the gulf there, there's a lot of knot of current against you, so something to keep in mind. But, um, but it's been good. I mean, uh, you know, what do you... We're safely across, so that's all you could ask for. And we'll see what Chiapas Marina is like. I don't know. I don't like to stay in marinas necessarily, but uh, we're going to see what that's all about here directly. Uh, we should be in about five o'clock, so um, I don't know what that does for us as far as uh, getting checked in today or if we have to do it tomorrow or what, but um, that's where we stand right now. <laughs> 